Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading, and today is Project Saturday, and we're doing some modifications to the big grow tent. So I thought I would kind of walk you through before I actually do the changes and uh, let you know what's going to change. All right, let me grab the camera. So today is the day we're going to transition this area down below into the area where we're going to have all of our starts for our spring garden plants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two trays of the Mizuna Asian Greens over there and over there, or over here and over there, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to harvest those down and take that inside and then I'm going to take the trays and put those into the mid-sized tent where we have most of our other greens. I'm going to put those probably on the top for right now and then let them regrow again and see if I can get another harvest off of it. And then the parsley is going to stay here, but instead of the current tray that I have underneath there, I'm going to actually take that out and I've got a 48 inch tray that I just ordered that I'll be putting underneath along with a heat mat. And then right now we have just these two lights and what I'm going to do is take the two long four foot uh, LED strand lights that we have, there's like the T5s, and I'm going to put those over here and hang those in front of these lights and then one in back. So one in front, one in back, and then they'll shine light down on top of all the plants so it should get pretty bright over in this area and give a lot of light for the germination of the plants because the new tray that'll be sitting here that I'll do the, the watering from underneath in is going to first start out with eggplants in the center and then next weekend I'll put the tomatoes seed those and then after that I will probably seed you know a few weeks down the road like four or five weeks down the road I'll start putting in the uh, uh, cucumbers the squash that type of stuff and then maybe some of the green beans to give them a head start before I put them out but uh, they'll all kind of fill up this whole area under here with uh, our new seedlings for spring. So I thought I would just show you the before and then I'll give you a shot of the after when I get everything installed. And then also I'll show when I get the first plant seeded and stuck into this area. So that way you can kind of follow along the transition as we head into spring and I get ready to start uh, propagating some new seedlings for my garden uh, 2018. All right, I'll talk to you guys again in a bit. This has been Brian. All right, bye guys. Hey everybody, I'm back again here. I'm about halfway through the process, so I thought I'd show you where we're at. And I also wanted to show you those little peppers that we were growing. I dug them out from underneath there, and you wanna see how many are on this thing. We crawl in a tent here. So, just the little pepper plants back there. You see, let me pull this out all the peppers on that thing. And this is a pop-up pepper plant that was in the tomato bags that we took out of here a while back. So I'm just kind of sticking those back there. And then this one over here, I'll turn around here, kind of crowded. You can see how many yellow ones are already on there and they've turned. And I should be able to eat those in maybe another couple weeks, but that's just little free peppers that I got. So let me take a step back out of the tent here. Okay, so you can see these are the two like T5 LED lights. I put those in over right there. And then the, uh, the natural daylighter LED lamps, the 300 waters, they're, they're still kind of hanging in the same position they were in, except it's dropping down just a little bit. But uh, that's the new plastic tray. And underneath that tray, I have put in a heater with a thermostat and probe. So then I've got it set to 79 degrees and it's already heated up to around 78 according to the, uh, the probe underneath. So that's going to keep the feet of the uh, plants warm and I can feel the heat coming up through that tray. So I've got the mat underneath that big plastic tray there. And then so what I'll do next is in the center here, the center section, I'll be putting the eggplants that I'm going to seed. And then on the outsides of those will be the tomatoes coming next weekend. And then eventually, you know, I'll take out this, this cilantro. It's going to disappear from both these sides. We'll just use it up. And then uh, we won't have any more of the six inch pot cilantro for a while. And then that area over there is going to be taken up by like, you know, beans or, uh, you know, squash when I decide to seed it. Because I do like to start my squash and my cucumbers and all that stuff inside of here because it gives them a little bit better ability to get taller and more vigorous before I put them out to Slug Central 
which is what I call our backyard in the early spring when all the moist spring rains are happening. The slugs love to decimate things and I like to use as little of the sluggo as I can because that stuff's pretty expensive when you buy it in like the 50 pound bags like we do around here to try and save our crops from being eaten by the little slug suckers. <laughs> but uh, that's kind of the progress so far. But uh, I'm pretty impressed with those little peppers, that one there and that one there. It's like, you know. And then I, uh, that's the tomato plant that was inside with the pepper. I took it out and put it into its own pot. And I'm going to let it uh, grow to see what kind of tomato plant we get. Hopefully it won't get too tall in here. Because you know, I'm almost thinking that I might take out the, uh, the poinsettia and bring it inside the house. And put it by one of the, uh, the heater vents, kind of close to that. And then put in a, go buy another LED light that I'll need to uh, put inside the house to keep this one going. I, I don't want to jeopardize this little poinsettia because that thing, is this a, that's a tank. Look at that thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, that was just kind of an update where we're at so far with the, uh, the repurposing and uh, seed propagation growing area that I'm putting into the large grow tent. All right, I'll be back a little later or maybe even tomorrow with uh, the next update. All right, talk to you again, guys. Bye. Hey everybody, this is Brian from PMB Homesteading and we got the final update, the third installment of the planting of the eggplants in the large grow tent. So let me show you the uh, variants we're gonna be growing. So we've got a uh, snowy eggplant. We're doing five of those. Uh, we've got five of the Michael F1 eggplants. Those are both new. I've never done those two this year, but they're supposed to be pretty good. Uh, the Black Beauty eggplant we did two years ago and the Diamond eggplant we did two years ago. Because last year I didn't do any eggplants, I focused mainly on tomatoes, if you remember from the, the videos, and they were, you know, quite, quite an overabundance of tomatoes, and we got plenty of that canned away, so we're going to be doing more eggplants and less tomatoes this year. But uh, here's what they look like inside the tent, with everything set up. I've left a spot in the front here to where that's where I'll do my watering, so then it'll just wick back through the, the gaps between the two pots, you know, between the three pots, and it'll just, you know, water all through there. And then I'm also going to leave, you know, like a space back here in the back available where I won't put one. And then I can also put the watering wand back there and drop into there and uh, it'll do the watering for me. But uh, I'm pretty pleased. I ended up doing 18 total and that's two less than what I had predicted because I didn't know the exact dimensions of the trays and I could, you know, squeeze some more in here if I want to. But I figure, you know, 18 eggplants, that's plenty. I mean, you know, I don't think I'm going to... You know, I don't want Paula to be over overburdened with having to process the eggplants. And uh, I, do, I do love the baba ganoush and uh, the things that she uses to make with the roasted eggplants. So that's one of the reasons why we're doing this so heavy, because we really love sitting out on the patio and eating that in the, the summertime. But uh, that's kind of the last of the updates for this tent. You know, there's those peppers again. Paula, could, Paula didn't believe me that I actually had these little peppers growing down under here, so I took the video up there and showed her, and she was just amazed. She's, told me to pick some but I said no no we gotta let them ripen up a little bit <laughs> all right well this has been Brian hope you uh, enjoy these updates and I'll do the regular updates coming up with the uh, the three grow tents or three grow areas uh, later today or tomorrow <laughs> all right I'll talk to you guys again hope you're having a good weekend bye